always said to them that we, even this late in the season, we're always looking to improve. Um, and you know, sometimes we make games harder work. Not that today wasn't hard. It's always hard work. Every day. But sometimes we make it even harder work. You know, on another day, we could have been one-one. We had a great chance. Then they give away, we give away a free kick, and, you know, and with the referee, you never know what, what he's going to give. So we make it really difficult for ourselves. So we're asking them, I've said to them, do they think I'm harsh and overcritical at times? And if they do, come and see me. But I only do that because I expect better from them, and we want them to, to improve as a team and as players individually. So when they go away from today, and we've won the game 2 0, and it's been an okay performance, we've ground it out. But when they go away today, I want them to think about what, what can they do better, what did they do well. You know, where can they improve? What, you know, game management sometimes, because like I said, we can't play the way we want to play all the time. So sometimes we've got to manage the game, grind it out until we get a breakthrough. Today we did that in spells, but not consistently. Was it the case, do you think, we left a little bit in the locker for once this afternoon? Is that one of the things you might look at? I don't think so. I don't want them to leave anything in the locker. I've told them we can't afford to do that. We're we're a much better side when we're when we're full tilt, when we're full at it, pe you know, pedal to the metal. We've got to get on with it. So, but sometimes we have to think about our game. You know, we, we sometimes leave ourselves wide open, and we're playing ten men. So, what do we sh what we should be doing is keeping the ball. And we end up, you know, sometimes trying to force it to get a second goal. But if they're patient, the second goal will come. But we need to be more patient at times and think about, you know, where do we need to be and don't leave ourselves open at times. And you know, no disrespect to call, but. but on another day with a different striker, you, you never know. The lad scores a goal, we're back at 1-1 with 10 men and they're going to sit in there then and it's going to be really difficult for us. How important was that, Pat, that um, sending off the red card? Um, it makes a difference, of course it does, because it means we have a sustained amount of pressure in their final third because they because of the way they played. When we got the goal, they then changed and went three up front and, and that causes more of a problem because we didn't manage it properly. So. You know, like I said, but we've had to we've had to grind it out, and we've done that. And I'm delighted with it. Don't get me wrong, I'm delighted with the way they've done it. But again, we could have made it far easier for ourselves because they're giving me kittens on the sideline with <laughs> with some of the things we're doing that, that are creating chances for the opponents. And like I said, we are our, our biggest enemies. We're our, we're our own worst opponents at times. We we do things at times, and I just can't understand why because it's you know, we're giving teams chances. And as we spoke about last week on Wednesday about going one 0 down or one one and. You know, but today we managed to get the second goal and that really killed the game off with them having even 10 men. How is the injury situation? Obviously, Joel, no Joel Edwards again today. Is yeah. this all precaution? No, no, he's injured. He can't play. If he was fit, he'd play. So, you know, he's not, he's not fit at the moment. So, uh, he's not fit. Nathan did a bit of work before the game and has had no reaction. So, hopefully, he'll be possibly in contention for Tuesday. Um, uh, Greeny's got a bit of a whack and Purge has got a bit of a whack from today, so we'll see how they are tomorrow, but I'm sure you know, they'll be fine, they'll manage them properly and they'll be fine. I think you had a word with the, the left winger after that challenge on Ryan Green. What I, just, I just tried to keep him out of the way because he was so het up because he thought it should have been a foul and then obviously came in late on Ryan and it was a naughty challenge and if anything that was more of a red card than the one that they got. I thought the red card was a two, it was two footed but it never was, wasn't near anybody, it didn't hurt anybody and it was reckless and it was more reckless than than really, you know, really bad. That one was really bad because he could have hurt him Ryan quite badly. So it was more a case of trying to keep him out of the way because otherwise it could have escalated into something far more than it, than it should have been. But like I said, I think the referee got them the wrong way round on that one. But like I said, he's, he's dealt with it and you know, we just have to, just have to calm the situation down. Positive, still creating a lot of chances. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't have as many clear cut ones today. Uh, but I thought that, I mean, the, as good as the pitch looks, it was it was quite bobbly and live. Lots of grass on it. Um, but you see today the ball was quite lively and on this particular pitch and we didn't quite, we weren't quite as fluent certainly first half I felt our front four first half were not quite at it um, but, but second half they got going and we created a few half chances without any real clear cut ones um, so like I said so we were fortunate with the goal because I think the lad completely missed it and it fell to Mike uh, but the second one was a, was a really good finish from Pablo. I mean the first one was a good finish but it, it was lucky how it ended up at his feet Second one was a nice piece of play, and like I said, it dropped nicely for Pablo, and he tucked it away. So, so we're happy. I'm sure you'd be hoping the game is on on Tuesday, but obviously Sporting Ulster against Old Church cooled off waterlogged pitch. I mean, does that bear any reflection? Would would that take an extension to the end of the season that particular game? I hope not. I hope not. I mean, as we, like I said a couple of weeks ago or at Brockton on Saturday, and I've said again on Wednesday, is as long as it's fair. If we finish on the sets twenty on the thirtieth, so should everybody else. And if that means they've got to play three games a week, then so be it. Because at the end of the day, they can say what they want about, oh, you know, well, we've got the money to, to look after our pitch, and every, that's rubbish. You know, it's, it's rubbish. It is rubbish. We we've got a decent pitch. 
but we've we've managed it better this year, and, and it's but it's not great at the moment. But we've managed to get through the games programs. We played all over Christmas, you know, and we've had the same weather as everybody else. So you know, and if, if we shouldn't be punished for them not having pitches that can sustain the weather. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't blame anybody for it. The weather's been awful. But, you know, maybe they could do a little bit more on their pitches to make sure the pitches are, are you know, a bit more playable. I mean, that, looking at the pictures from Sporting Council, to me, the pitch didn't look any worse than when we played at Barden, and it didn't look any worse than when we played at Wolfronians. But, you know, referees called the game off, so that's fine. We're not, we're, not, we're not in control of that. We can only control what we can do, and that's come and play games and, and win them if we can. The ten-point advantage now, you are certainly in the box seat, without a doubt. You well, talked about it, it is harder playing catch-up. It's harder chasing because, you know, because obviously we, we've been in that situation recently when you have to chase, it's harder because you know that if you slip up once, then you, it's, even, it's even going to be even a harder chase. Um, so yeah, so yeah, we're in the box seat. I mean, they've got two games in hand, and it will still only be four points if they win their two games in hand. So you know, but we are as long as we keep ticking our boxes by winning games as we go along. The more games we win between now and the end of the season, the harder it's going to be for them to catch us. So you know, so it's it's in our hands, as everyone keeps saying, and it is. And we're glad because it wasn't in our hands for a little while, but it isn't back in our hands again now. And you know, we gotta we gotta keep keep doing well. And like I said, this is not an easy place to come. Their results recently have been extremely good against the better sides in the league. And uh, so we're glad to have got past this one now, and, and now we move on to Tuesday. With that, Peter Beadle, I'll say good afternoon to you, and I'll see you on Tuesday, Tuesday evening. <laughs>